Okay, time to get comfortable. This is gonna be a talk. I always want to know how I stay motivated, what happens when my motivation is low, how do I keep going, and honestly there is no secret to it. My key piece of advice is helping you understand that motivation is unreliable. The main thing that is key to your fitness journey is developing discipline. So in this video we're going to explain why motivation is unreliable, why I have let go of it throughout the years, and how we go about developing discipline and why that is more important. When you look at motivation and you really try to understand that concept, it becomes so clear why it is unreliable. There's two different types of motivation. There is internal motivation or intrinsic motivation, and there is external motivation or extrinsic motivation. External motivation is something that comes from an outside source that helps motivate you to do that action. For example, if I'm promised a cookie after running 15 minutes of treadmill, I will run. 15 minutes of treadmill. That is my external reward and I am externally motivated to run. Internal motivation is something that comes more from within. This could be, for example, feeling proud about yourself for doing an action, feeling competent, feeling strong, feeling better, anything that comes from within. So for example, in the case of the treadmill, I know that I'm gonna feel so proud of myself if I do 15 minutes of treadmill and that is something that's motivating me to get that 15 minutes done. Now the reason why motivation is unreliable is because those internal and external rewards will not be present all the time. They are definitely not consistent. You will not always be promised a cookie after every single thing that you do, and you will not always feel proud about yourself or feel completely competent after doing an action. This is where discipline comes into play because discipline keeps you accountable. It keeps you pushing forward even when you're not promised a reward afterwards. Discipline is essentially training yourself to be consistent, training yourself to keep pushing even when things get uncomfortable. It is about developing mental toughness and keeping yourself accountable. And this goes further into developing trust with yourself in the sense that you keep true to your word, that if you say something, you're going to do it. So for example, if you say that you're going to start working out three times a week starting next week, you're going to do it. This is why discipline is way more important than motivation, because discipline is something that takes over when you feel like your energy is low, when you feel lazy, when you feel like you have nothing else to give, when you see no progress, it keeps pushing you regardless. Honestly, I feel like understanding this concept has been a true breakthrough point in my fitness journey because at the beginning, I was going off mainly of motivation. One day I would wake up and be like, oh, I feel like I'm seeing some progress. I'm motivated to keep going. Other days I would feel super low in energy, super low in motivation and be like, I'll miss out on my gym. I'll miss out on the gym today. It's not worth it. And I, this didn't develop a consistent pattern and this was not gonna give me any progress whatsoever. I'm gonna be honest, developing discipline and getting out of the habit of relying solely on motivation took some time for me. Everyone is different, but for me, it took some patience, some time, and a series of steps that I'm gonna take you through. First things first, we're gonna lay out our goals, we're gonna write them down, and we're gonna make sure that they are realistic and specific to us. I know we can get caught up in the big picture, the big end goal, but throughout the way we have to come up with smaller goals that we can reach so that it doesn't overwhelm us, it doesn't freak us out, it doesn't make us feel like we're not achieving anything. For example, maybe for me an end goal would be growing my lower body and some ways that I would be I would go about achieving that goal is by making sure I implement more lower body workouts than I currently am throughout my week. So I can say to myself, I'm gonna start training lower body two to three times a week, which is better than my one time a week or my zero times a week, and then I progress from there. Another goal could be maybe I'm starting out with 10 pound dumbbells for RDLs. Next week, I'm gonna push on to 15 pound dumbbells. Next week, 20 and keep moving. So these are small, specific and realistic goals that you can attain and that will help work towards your end goal. This goes kind of into the next step, which is focusing on creating a schedule 
that fits those goals, caters to those goals. For example, for me, my previous workout split that I used to do, it focused more on lower body because those were the muscle groups that I wanted to target the most. Those were the ones I wanted to grow the most. A schedule that helped achieve those goals was implementing lower body two to three times a week, upper body two times a week, and then abs and cardio mixed in throughout. Now that I want more of an even balance between upper body and lower body, I'm making sure to do two times a week for upper body, two times a week for lower body, and then mixing in cardio and abs throughout. Now creating a schedule for you will take some time and will take some trial and error. So don't worry if you don't get it immediately. And if the current split doesn't fit your standards, I would start out by trying to create a schedule and then see how it works out for you for one week. Then the next week you can maybe change it up or if you like it, keep going with that same schedule. But if you wanna change it up every now and then, that is completely okay. It's really about understanding your body, understanding what works best for you because everyone is different at the end of the day. The third key thing that I focus on is being very organized with my progress. Now this is something I want you to really understand because progress is one of those things that can really fly under our radar. We see ourselves every single day. We might not be able to notice those little small changes that we are making, and it can honestly deflate our feeling of competence or our feeling of how well we're doing with our split. So this is where we want to take notes, do some legwork, and really make sure that we are seeing the progress that we are making, we're recognizing the progress that we're making. Whether that is taking measurements, taking pictures, writing down the weights you're using, the sets and reps that you're doing for each exercise. Make sure that you're being very organized in the sense so that you're able to say, okay, next week I'm gonna progress five more pounds that I'm using for RDLs. Next week I'm gonna do this, next week we're gonna do that and keep going. Not only is this organization going to help us recognize the progress that we're making, but it's also going to help us plan ahead for the progress we're going to make. For example, if I start off with 10 pound RDLs, like I said in the last example, this week I'm gonna do 10 pounds, next week I'm gonna do 15 pounds, the following week 20 pounds, and this is how we keep track of our progress so that we always make sure that we are increasing the challenge and that we are always progressing forward. Now with this in mind, I also want you to understand that progress most often is not linear. It's not always gonna be an uphill path from here. There's gonna be some ups and downs, there's gonna be lows and highs. For me, my path, my fitness journey was like this. It was a lots of ups and downs, especially during my period. I always have to bring down the weight a little bit, bring down the sets and reps. My energy is super low. So just take it one week at a time. Don't stress out if one week you're not progressing more than the last week, because this journey is for the long run. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of time. Don't worry about those little bumps in the road. Just keep track of it, keep focused, and you'll keep progressing over the long term. Now my final step I wanna say is the most important. It was the most important for me, and that is developing consistency. Once you have established your goals, you have established a workout split. The key thing is sticking to that workout split every single week. Personally for me, when I was at the beginning of my journey, I was not consistent whatsoever. I would work out every now and then, not really following a schedule, not really sticking to my routine, and I was seeing no progress. When you are consistent every single week, it becomes more of a habit, it becomes more of a routine, and it's something that makes you who you are. There's a level of mental toughness that you develop in the sense that you know you have to keep yourself accountable, you know that if you keep going every single week, that there will be a benefit for you at the end, whether that's a mental benefit or a physical benefit, you know that you have to keep yourself accountable, you have to keep pushing, keep at it every single week. Discipline doesn't really, it's not really questioned after you have developed it. After you're consistent with your workout schedule, you don't even question it. You don't question whether or not you're gonna miss a week, whether you're gonna miss a day, because you just know you have to fit it into the schedule. And that has been something that has helped me a ton because if I wake up one morning and I'm like, oh, I don't really wanna to go to the gym, I know that I'm just being lazy, but I have to go anyways. So there's no excuses there. I just know that I have to go. I have to, go. I have to be there. That's it. It's kind of like showing up to class or showing up to work. You know you have to be there. Even if you don't want to be there, you're gonna show up anyways because it's on the schedule. You're gonna go there. Once you have been consistent enough where it becomes more of a routine to you, it becomes natural to you, that is where discipline takes over motivation. Even when motivation is low, discipline goes through and really says, hey, you're gonna show up to the gym, you're gonna keep going regardless. I hope that made sense. 
With all this being said, I kind of want to leave you with a little bit of a reminder that any journey in life, no matter whether it's fitness, work related, or whatever, it's not without its ups and downs. I experience ups and downs all the time. I feel highs and lows. And it's not really something that you can escape, but it's something that you can kind of deal with and turn it around to make it more of an opportunity. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to learn, to be a better you. I don't want you to feel discouraged if you're experiencing an obstacle, if you feel like your motivation is low one day, if you feel like you're not progressing as fast as, as you would like. I want you to find comfort in knowing that when things get tough, when you experience the most challenges, when you feel like you have nothing else to give, that is the exact point that is the breakthrough point, that if you keep pushing, that is gonna unlock a whole new life, a whole new mindset, a whole new type of growth that you've never experienced before. So I want that to be your encouragement. I want that to be your motivation, to know that one day, if you keep pushing, if you keep showing up, if you keep keeping yourself accountable, one day you will experience growth. One day you will feel like you have achieved so much, you have come so far and you will look back and be so grateful that you even began in the first place, that you kept yourself accountable, that you kept going when things got tough. So please, please do not doubt yourself. You are capable of so many great things and I want you to see that. Just keep going and one day you will get there, I promise. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment what you want to see next. But until then, I will see you in the next video. I love you so, so much. Bye.